Cubase 8 brings you all new creative tools for working with chords and new building blocks from the legendary producer Alan Morgan. The chord pad feature puts incredibly complex and sophisticated chord structures and patterns right at your fingertips. This allows you to access a wide range of voicings and tensions and to know their natural harmonic relationships to each other. Open the project menu and enable chord pads. The interface here is really intuitive. Each pad clearly displays the assigned chord and you can trigger them with a click. You can also trigger them by playing the assigned trigger note on a MIDI keyboard, shown in the blue player. When you hover over a chord pad, several controls appear. On the right edge are controls for scrolling through the various voicing options. You can arrange the notes of a chord in numerous ways in order to vary the sound. Each specific arrangement of notes is called a chord voicing. You can change a chord's voicing to help it sit better in an arrangement or to de-conflict it from surrounding chords. And thanks to the adaptive voicing function, Cubase can take care of this automatically. When the active chord pad is set as the adaptive voicing reference, all other chord pads will follow its voicing. This means they're set in a way that complements rather than conflicts with the reference. You can identify the reference chord pad by its distinctive border. By default, all chord pads use adaptive voicing, which is indicated by an AV symbol in the corner. Now it's worth noting that if you change a voicing manually, adaptive voicing is deactivated. You can see the active notes highlighted on the player, and each voicing is triggered as you click through the list. You can use this technique to record the associated MIDI notes. Just start recording and then start clicking. Along the bottom are controls for the chord's tension. Tensions describe additional notes added to the chord's fundamental structure to change its feel and flavor, such as sevenths and ninths. Tensions modify the basic quality of the chord's sound. While a major chord with tensions still has a major quality as part of its sound, the tension note, or notes, can alter the quality of the overall sound. Cubase offers remarkable real-time control over tensions. Open the chord pad editor and select the remote control tab. Click the box for activate for the voicings and tensions. Notice that a few more keys on the player just turned green. You can use these keys as remote controls for the tension. The default settings for tension control are D2 and D sharp 2, which you can change if you want to. Once activated, pressing the D or D sharp will increase and decrease the tension of the selected chord, like this. And once you have the new tension selected, you can choose to change up its voicing for even more ideas or to help the chord sit better in an ensemble. The control on the left opens the chord pad's editor and lets you reassign the basic chord. Once you have the pads configured, the easiest way to record them is to play the notes shown in blue from your MIDI keyboard. If we look at the settings area, you can see even more powerful tools at your disposal. 
the Players tab lets you choose piano or guitar player options, and you can limit the available chords to styles like jazz or pop. And you can configure the guitar player for triads or four-note chords or even modern jazz, all for added realism when playing back a guitar sound with the chord pads. The Pad Layout tab lets you configure the trigger pad assignments. And the Remote Control tab gives you more options to streamline your interaction with the chord pads. Now one challenge to using sophisticated chord structures and voicings is learning how they fit together. That's where the Chord Assistant comes into play. The Chord Assistant, available in Cubase 8 Pro, lets you view chords two ways. The proximity view shows how close your chords are relative to a defined reference chord. Basic relationships like tonic, dominant, and subdominant, or 1-4-5, are right next to the reference chord. More complex variations are shown further out. You can click on any chord to hear it, or right-click to make it the reference origin. The Circle of Fifths view shows an even more specific relationship. A fundamental principle of music theory is that you can move through all of the chords in a given key by picking your next chord based on the fifth tone of the previous chord. The Chord Assistant lays all that out for you right here. The outer circle shows the 12 major chords ordered in fifths. The inner circle shows the parallel minor chords and the Roman numerals mark the chords of the current key with their degree. You can move around and through these circles to locate typical progressions, or to discover entirely new ones. And you can right-click and assign it to a pad directly from the Chord Assistant. Once you have the chord pads set up, you can play them and record onto a MIDI or instrument track. Select the track and be sure it's armed. Then press Record and click on the pads. And you can even switch to the Chord Assistant on the fly and record directly from there as well. You can also generate chords with the Key Editor. Open the Chord Editing tab. Here you can select triad or four note chord and use the pencil tool to place it on the track. Now with the chord selected, you can switch between settings and inversions and the selected notes will change in real time. You can even select a group of notes that you recorded manually and Cubase will tell you what type of chord they form. Alan Morgan's Pop Rock Toolbox comes with 30 construction kits, each with 50 to 100 audio and MIDI loops, which are routed to predefined instruments, including channel strip and mixer settings. Perfect when you're looking for inspiring new material. You'll also find entire projects to work with, and many of these make use of the new features like VCA faders. This can help you learn how to use these tools by seeing them in action in a wide variety of applications. Also, a lot of these projects contain tracks which were recorded dry to give you maximum flexibility in how you use them. For example, a lot of the bass tracks were recorded through a direct box, and you'll see DI in their name. This is great for using the new VST bass amp to experiment with a range of reamping options. The same thing goes for a lot of the guitar parts. The clean recordings allow you the raw materials you need to explore everything the VST amp rack has to offer.
Download Cubase 8 today and put creativity first.